votre père. Your Excellency, Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Ministers here present, Permanent and, um, permanent and Principal Secretaries here present, Excellencies Ambassadors and Heads of International Organizations, Business Communities from Kenya and Tanzania, Members of the press distinguished delegates, a, good, a very good morning to you all. Na nataka ni wasalimu, it's a very good afternoon, sorry. Ni wasalimu kwa jina la Jamhuri ya Mungano wa Tanzania, mnatakiwa kuitikia kazi yendele. Turudie sasa na wasalimu kwa jina la Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania. Iendelee kweli kweli. Santeni sana. Mr. President, allow me to commence my thanking by thanking everybody, everyone who is here with us, especially yourself, my dear brother, President Uhuru Kenyatta. It's heartwarming to note that you have been taken time to share with us here in this occasion, while knowing you have a very busy schedule. Thank you very much. This is not only a clear testimony of how you value trade relations between our countries, but also confirms that our, confirms that to us, the interest you have for the long-standing partnership between our two countries and for many years now. As for other participants from Kenya and Tanzania, it is encouraging that you have made to this forum, despite uh, the fact that it is taking place at the most difficult time when we are facing the global pandemic, COVID-19. We are here, everybody, with uh, masks on our faces, and when I see people with mask on faces, it reminds me in our village, when we go and uh, <clears throat> do the herding with the goats, we protect them from eating the crops on the way. <laughs> so we, we cover them the same way we are doing today. This is not very, but we have to do it. Uh, personally, I'm delighted to join you here in this beautiful city of Nairobi, a city that was fondly referred as half London by Tanzanians in the years mid 80s. Today I can say without a pinch of a doubt that Nairobi has not lost its last year and has continued to flourish and be a hub for many world business and investments. Congratulations, Nairobi. <laughs> Your Excellency, the President, my appreciation would not be replete if I don't thank the organizers of this business forum for meticulously putting together this forum. The honest dedication and commitment given towards making this forum a reality underpins amplitude of the interactions and dialogue between our governments and private sector. This commitment is very instrumental in steering an excellent and all-weather bilateral trade relationship, which is a cornerstone for the social and economic development of our people in both of our countries and the East African region in general. Dear participants, we are living in an era of globalization where interdependency is key and no country can develop itself in, a, in an isolation and no one would view glo global competition as a zero-sum game. 
Real development is only realized when we develop together. Business to business interactions provides an avenue for companies to exploit areas of interest and forge cooperation for mutual benefit. Aspirations of many business people is to make profit while at the very heart of it, such partnership should create jobs to boost up the socioeconomic well-being of our people. The private sector is key to driving growth that will deliver these jobs, transform labor markets, open up opportunities, and unleash entrepreneurial spirit. These aspects can only be realized if businesses are operating in a conducive environment. And it is the role of our two governments to create this environment to facilitate growth of the private sector through good legislations, transparent and predictable taxation systems, efficient court systems which can expedite business cases, and the existence of a good in investment climate. The government of Tanzania has over the years continued to undertake reforms and improve the business and investment environment. For instance, we are currently undertaking reviews on tariffs and non-tariff measures, such as the issuance of work permits for foreign expatriates, operationalization of one-stop facilitation center for investments, removal of nuisance taxes and levies, user fees and other charges, rationalizing tax administration practices, fight against corruption and bureaucracy in the public sector, identification and allocation of land for investment, promoting construction of industrial parks, and streamlining the functions of the regulated authorities, among other, other things. All these initiatives are being guided by our homegrown reform strategy known as the blueprint of regulatory reforms for improvement of business environment in Tanzania. And in order to ensure that the trade investments are sustained and are profitable, Tanzania has invested in mega projects on infrastructure such as roads, ports, railways, airports, and generation of energy. The aim is to to reduce the cost of production and cost of doing business with a major purpose of creating an enabling environment for business to prosper and maintaining investors' confidence. Your Excellency and dear participants, allow me now to emphasize that Tanzania is highly committed to seeing a vibrant private sector capable of facing the challenges of the global economy through our industrialization drive. We believe that successful industrialization is the basis of value addition to our products, which in turn creates wealth and employment, and this is what business people should strive to achieve. The vulnerability of commodity export dependent countries is well known and it need no emphasize. Upstream up value chain participation is of utmost importance if our companies want to be effective in export undertakings. I'm emphasizing this because as Tanzanian companies meet their counterparts from Kenya today at this forum, they should strive to establish business relationships which will establish both parties, which enable both parties to exploit opportunities existing in, in each other's country. There's an opportunity to leverage on Kenya's technology, know-how, and above all, capital. In the other hand, Tanzania has abundance of natural resources, tourist attractions, and land. It is my hope that this forum will act on a, as a catalyst for our business community to kickstart meaningful partnership with Kenya companies 
in the areas of investments and trade opportunities. I therefore urge business communities from Tanzania and Kenya to exploit this chance to exchange skills, work together in research and development, technology, as well as looking for capital where necessary. It is my hope that companies from Kenya will be more than willing to assist their counterparts from Tanzania for mutual business relationships. And it is through partnership and joint ventures in investment that businesses are going to thrive, are going to thrive and do well. Your Excellency and dear participants, we have an unsatisfactory situation here that our trade levels are not as good as we want it to be. And I wouldn't go through the statistics because they've been already um, um, presented to you. But it is my hope that this business forum is an opportunity for our business communities to identify strategies, our strategic investors from each side to build partnership that will work together, bridging the existing gaps. Needless to say, transfer of technology is very vital to our country. We expect this forum, among other things, will facilitate transfer of technology and investment with the object objective of contributing towards national poverty reduction in Tanzania and economic diversification in Kenya. It is my sincere hope that this forum is a good start and will ease some of the concerns. Tanzania is ready to receive business community from Kenya. Our doors are open for consultation, Kama Mushmua Raisa Alisema, and our hands are open, ready to hug you and cooperate. My government is more than ready to serve as a bridge for paving the way for a cooperation between our two business communities from our two countries. Having said all this, I look forward seeing an implementation of the agreed affirmative actions which arise from this um, uh, forum and you said it right that you are ready to go now. And I say go. <laughs> go and um, complement your efforts. And not going to unnecessar unnecessarily compete and complicate things. So go cooperate and do the business. Mnabahati kwamba. Nchi zetu mbili upande mmoja kuna uhuru wa kufanya biashara na upande mwingine kuna suluhu. <laughs> suluhu ya kuondosha vikwazo vya biashara. Kwa hiyo sasa mshindwe nyinyi. Asanteni sana. Tuwapongeze wa yeshimi wa maraisi wetu wawili baada ya hotba hizo nzuri. Nitaomba sasa kutangaza kwamba maraisi wetu wataondoka kwa hiari yao. Kwa hivyo soto tabaki tumetulia, nitaomba wale ambao tukondani tuwasimama, tuwape nafasi maraisi wetu wanapoondoka. Tuwe watulivu tu, tuwape nafasi waondoke.